Mr. Morgan. <laughs> Herr Strauss. How are you? About... About how I look. Okay. <sighs> are you, um... Are you perhaps available for some work? Debtors? Yes. I guess. Your commitment to your duties is admirable. <coughs> you know, Mr. Morgan, you are... Well, I'm sorry for you. Hmm? No, never mind. I didn't... Look, Strauss. You take care. I ain't dead yet. No, of course not. That's what I was saying. I... Uh, I... A debtor, Strauss. Who owes you money? Well, uh, there's a deserter from Fort Wallace. Head to him first. They're looking for him out on the road near Three Sisters. Man's name is J. John Weathers. J. John Weathers. Then there's a miner over in Annisburg. He's called... Well, he's called Arthur. <laughs> like you. Huh. <laughs> Arthur Londonderry. Family man, desperate, you know the type. Couldn't one of the boys do this? I tried. They lacked your... vigor. Vigor, huh? huh. All right. Uh, take care, uh, uh, Mr. Morgan. See if we can get through a more with no argument. For shame. Enough. All right, don't get all worked up. Yep. Yep. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm very nervous. Yeah.
J. John Weathers. They call me Snow Goose now. Whatever they call you. You borrowed money off of Leopold Strauss. The bills come due. This ain't the best time, sir. This ain't the best time for anyone. Mr. Strauss knew it was a long-term proposition. The debt is due. Okay. I got supplies meant to last through the winter. You can take them just... Is there any way you can help me? I stay out here, there won't be anyone to pay you. I ain't here to help. I'm here to collect. We're all, all of us up against it. Look, there's men after me. <laughs> They're killers. I ain't a deserter, just an objector. It ain't right. If there was another way than running, I need your help. Shut up. Please, I... Up here, it's him. It's too late. Form up, we shoot on sight. I clear off, sir. Ah, shit! Well, seeing as I'm here, I'll, I'll do what I can for you.
Alright, my darling! You can come out! Oh, crap. I probably should have helped you fix the damn wagon. We could probably still save something. Really now? Look, you can take the silver locket for the debt. Fine. Now, go. Get her somewhere safe. Go on. Thank you, fella. I don't know where we can go, but I'll try. Pray for us. We're past praying, boy. Sir! Some help! Can you help me, mister? What's the problem? My goddamn horse got spooked and run off. Are you hurt? Not too bad, at least. But he took my damn leg. Sorry. He went that way, I think. His name's Buell. Buell? Second time a prick named Buell cost me a leg. Huh? Buell was my general when I lost it. Oh, uh, okay. Anyway, if you see an angry bastard of a horse with my wooden leg, I'd be real grateful. I'll bear that in mind. Come on, Dan. Let's get you back. Yeah, he's just where you left him. Can't go far with that leg in your stirrup. Can't go bucking him like that. You better be good, you hear? I get the notion he's not a man you want to cross. No matter how big and strong you are. Thank you. 
are now. I'm gonna spook you here. Come on. You're not so nasty. I found him. You're a good man, mister. Mr. Arthur. You're right. He's a brute. <sighs> Hamish Sinclair. Yeah, he's a great horse, aside from when the devil got him. Hey, you wanna hand me that leg there, please? And while you're at it, give old Buell a kick for me, would you? No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> Warren, but a snake that spooked him. <clears throat> you're a real gentleman, you know? Sometimes, maybe. Yeah, how'd you lose a leg? Oh, in the war. Cannonball. Pretty clean, though. I don't have much pain, and I didn't get any gangrene. A young boy went into battle with me, got cut in half, so all things considered, I'm doing pretty well, I guess. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, how is the false one? It's okay. I can still hunt, fish, enjoy the outside. Weren't sent too crazy by it. Anyway, I ain't got much to pay you with. You know, that's okay. You like fishing? You can come with me someday. I know some pretty good spots. Uh, I'm a pretty poor fisherman. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm great, so between the two of us, we do okay. My cabin is right over on the other side of O'Cray's run there. Thanks again. You throw me again, you old dumb bastard, I'm gonna put a bullet in you. I'll see you again.